Hi everyone, McBeard here, back with another great bunch of highlights for you. Another Friday has come and gone. We did a couple of more friend bat matches, and I tend to test out the Witcher deck, the Witcher deck, when I do these friend matches. And at this point, I am considering this a real work in progress. The results feel like they could be good. Like, we might actually be able to start refining this into a deck that could be maybe played, but... The long round potential of this Witcher deck seems pretty good. I've got another couple of games where I play this deck against my chat. I also have a third gameplay in this video in which Speed Gwent is played, where me and my opponent, uh, neither of us take any time at all to play our cards. We play those cards instantaneously. But just before I get into the whole thing, I did want to just give you a rundown on this deck that I've been playing on these fight nights. Uh, this. This deck is a, uh, ever since Courier came into the game, I've been wanting to play this Witcher variant that runs Viper Witchers, Courier, and Dodric. And Dodric allows you to cycle through your cards. The Courier is an agent on the board that gives Dodric zeal. And Courier and Viper Witcher actually means that you can not so terribly in an RNG way sabotage your opponent's deck. It's a two card combo and it, in that case, I feel like it's very fair. And it actually seems to make more sense. I'm not just hoping for the high roll. I'm trying to get the best thing on top of my opponent's deck. So that, it just feels a little bit more fair when I play it like this. I think that the card in general is sometimes, I mean, I don't like the idea. I don't like how it works, but for some reason with Courier, it makes it okay. Do with that what you will. Viper Witcher now dropping for five because we're able to get Vesemir Mentor quite easily. And the Witcher suite in this deck can change. There are actually enough Witchers to mix and match in the gold spot, especially with Nilfgaard. If you want to run Serret, Ox, and Letho, this trio is still perfectly capable of pulling off some great tricks. Serret still hits for, f well, Serret was the one that was nerfed the most over time. The combo itself for its provision level is still pretty strong. I think the entire game has kind of crept behind them. But I do think the opportunity of locking multiple units on the board, there are a lot of instances where Ox can lock two things, but you're just fine often locking one thing and having Letho have a backup lock and then have a two additional locks with Van Moore the Helm Hunter. So you can see that locking stuff isn't really a problem, which means Slave Driver at the end of the game, when you're using Tactical Decision perhaps, or a Royal Decree considering you've cycled your deck so perfectly with Dodric, sometimes Slave Driver actually comes out and knocks out something at six or seven. It's a pretty, it, you know, it's not, out, it's not outrageous to see it. In fact, every time I've played this uh, list, I have managed to get a n multiple locks on the board, but I think that uh, for the most part, this deck is really, really good. You have options of running stuff like Lambert Swordmaster, one of the Geralt Tall Removal or Geralt Igni, Erden. I personally am running Axie in this case because it is a strong Purify and the Purify reset. Bringing all the points back to, like, you have a complete removal with the his Vindication, you have the complete reset as well, and you have these massive engines in Evo and Eskel and Letho duplicating one of those things. But Letho, honestly, duplicating anything on the board is usually pretty good if you can protect it with Fion. Otherwise, Fion is really just another big point play that is an annoyance for your opponent. Usually the stuff required to deal with Fion makes it much harder to deal with Eskel, who drops at eight points considering Vesemir's buff and the buff at the turn end, and if that can be locked, if that can't be removed, then Letho is going to become a copy of that as well, growing into a seven point Eskel right away. So these are massive threats that your opponent has to deal with. Meanwhile, you also have the standard good removal stuff in Tourney Joust. You have your locks as well, and it really just kind of works all together in that way. Royal, Royal Decree is really for Vesemir Mentor because getting Vesemir out early is very important. However, Vesemir is probably the memeiest card in here. I think that the deck honestly could work just fine without Vesemir Mentor, but Vesemir Mentor gives you that push you need. If you need to go into a long round, you actually have these gigantic Witcher bodies coming in, punching and kicking and locking and growing. It's a lot for the opponent to deal with, even if their strategy is un. Uh, not messed with. Tactical Decision gives us provisions to play with. Again, Lambert Swordmaster is a pretty good option if you just want to play a Witcher that's worth a ton of points, even if they are, their conditions are average, usually just hitting like one or two things. Still drops at seven. 
that's pretty good. Obviously, we talked about uh, running some of the Geralt stuff. Ciri's an interesting choice. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could try it, but you're always running that risk. And until we see a buff from the Wolf Schoolboys, they probably will be sitting out um, for the Viper Schoolboys, who just do a lot more for uh, better provisions. Right, so I think that this is a pretty good list, and uh, I'll tell you, the chat loves to see it. They like to, they like Fight Night when I bring it out, and I think I'm going to bring it out into the ladder soon. But check out this, these highlights right here. Uh, thanks to all the chat that uh, plays against me on Fight Nights, and I'll maybe I'll see you for a future Fight Night on Friday. Take care, enjoy the video. If you enjoy the video, show me, tell me, leave a comment, and while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we're going to see the Witcher deck right now, I think. I think that's what's going to happen. Alright. It is Witcher time. We have Dodric. We have Courier. That's cool. Hmm. All right, well, you have a Royal Decree, which is for Vesemir. <laughs> Alpha 1 going dark. All right, playing against me with the flame and... There's the flame and border right there. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I don't like either of these cards. What do I hate more, though? Probably Visigurd I hate more, if I, have to, if I have a way of doing something about it. But it seems like I might not. But Dodric changes things. Again, again, again. Okay. Strongly considering playing Yennefer's Invocation here, but... Novigrad will make a fine provincial seat. Okay. We're looking for a lock. Real bad. A Viper Witcher would really be helpful as well. Try to have infantry. That's a big problem. There's a lock. Courier is less important now. Beaters forward. Let the hum begin. Let the hum begin. <laughs> My eyes slider from the outside world. I am by nature usually. I just I'm not. I don't go out that much. I mean, I do errands and I help around the house and I go out and get stuff done, but. I, I, not really somebody who goes out for a lot of social gatherings these days, so this is uh, a pretty normal, like I don't really have to move things around or readjust, that's what I mean to say. I don't need to readjust for work or hanging out with people. Like, all my, most of my social is this activity right here. So, um, I feel like I'm in dangerous territory now. In that, I don't think I want to play another turn. But I am. What is it you want? Yes! Without playing Decree, we got Vesemir. Much left of that word. Good pass. So, 
to do this and so if I if I we could um if we use Yennefer's invocation on Nickers, it's possible that we get uh Nickers to jump out of the deck. So that's a swing of eleven points. Um if it works like that. Alternatively Playing leader is also an option to like get the Viper Witcher or something like that. I think I'm going for it. I don't have mana or uh Okay. It was only a matter of time. Time to get our hands dirty. So if I play Eskel, it's still not enough. Fuck. Did I screw this up? So what can I do here? If I play, I need to get, uh, we need to get nine points. So, uh, Letho is enough. Royal Decree, Letho is enough. That might be it. That might be the only option. I'm not going to fix my hand. It's pretty good. Oh, Nickers bails me out anyway. Ah, whatever. And we got Visigurd, right? So our perfect hand is Fion, Slave Driver. I mean, Morhelm Hunter is playable as well. The Jousts are playable as well. Just like Thronebreaker, me versus Ardal. Fion, Slave Driver. So Slave Driver, yeah, because it's probably gonna be a lot of locks on the board. Master of Disguise goes. This lock seems very reasonable. This is the hand, right? It's up to us now. Oh, Slim Assassin 13. New leaders. Hulk champ. Oh, I know. Six new leaders to talk about. Just in time for round three. Round three. Fight. Let us begin. Van Mulhelm's Wood. Pranuscoper. Ardal summons a bunch of witchers. Yes, I remember that part too. It's very clearly. It's very clear in my head. I'm going to try to go for the ox lock. Onward, onward, to be showered with imperial gold. Give me that imperial gold. Yeah, because we know he has another drummer. So ox, ooh, and a stringer. Yep. So we have a purify and reset as well, which is really important. Let's make this quick. Let's make this quick. Boop Jean, hello from Germany. Yes, hello to you as well. Thanks for the sub, by the way. Left. Three months combo. from Slim Assassin 13. All right, so it's ox time. Sometimes I've had about Dandy and Kira. Oh shit. This is gonna be a real point off. Right. 
All right. Lippy's on fire. Yeah. It's a premium border. It's uh, the latest. Uh, they just actually released a new, another new pack of cosmetics. This one for the real money dollars. And 30% uh, of proceeds go towards the Gwent open prize pools. One of which of those packages is an avatar of the golem, like the Ifrit golem that's like wrapped up in the runes. You get that border, which is animated, as well as a title that I forget. And then there's the other package that gives you a new Cyrus skin and the burning, like a burning ashen wood map. Coming for ya. Burning Edern, but it's not like that like it's not like Edern, it's it's even more The Gauntlet, no, because I don't have the deep bot. I don't have the same bot. Um the bot that I had I had an issue with it, and then when I went to go look it up again, it was too I didn't have enough time. Okay, well my opponent's getting a lot of pointos here. No doubt about it. I think Slave Driver is so good in this list. I mean, this is still a pretty good Baron target. You might argue. I mean, it saves it. It saves it. They're dead. I think I screwed up one of Evo's charges as well, right? Finally, Anna Strenger is dead. This is a close game. Prince Answer doesn't have great targets. He's taking the seven pointer here. There's not much else to do. So the final tally here for the best possible reset, but it's a purifying reset, which means that I actually, no, I don't lose a point because nothing triggers. So it's this one here, right? We get seven points on the reset. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. I can't believe another. <laughs> another it was so close. Oh, man. Yeah, I thought it was a tie for a second as well, Gulo. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. There's something to that deck, my friends. There's something to that. Thank you so much for the support, for real. All right, we're playing... We are playing Speed Gwent. Speed Gwent. And at any time, the chat can call not fast enough on either side. Those leaks, I know, those leaks. Classy mess, how are you? Humans have no place in Broccolon. All right, we're trying to do everything as fast as possible. No, the chat's gonna. The chat is gonna rule. The chat is gonna rule. Like if, if somebody, the chat at the end of the game, the chat might make a rule that somebody probably should have been disqualified, or we just play really fast. All right, five. There we go. Why do I have a dancing star in this list? Mm. Leader ability. 
too long. It took too long mulliganing. What are you talking about too slow? I'm doing it instantly. I'm moving instantly. This card is awful. I don't know what I was thinking. This has definitely not changed since I felt like I needed this card. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Oh shit. Oh, you've done it now. oh dear. Well, I gotta think about this one now, don't I? We're the best regiment in the whole plowing north. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know, this looks pretty good. This, I feel pretty good about this. I think I have a really good hand. <laughs> it's a pretty good hand right here. I have, I have, I have everything. With the Royal Decree, Ekern, Drowner. I mean, come on, it's so good, right? Ah, fuck. The point is, that, okay, that, that's my scrambled egg, so I miss Osrel here. Well, okay, that's the first casualty of playing fast. First casualty of playing fast right here. <laughs> I can still get Osrel with the Kree. Like, I'm pretty safe. Like, honestly, it doesn't even matter. You could argue that I should have never played Mata for draw in the first place, but it's okay. Hmm. Don't look at it for six for nine. Just look at it that I played six. I played six. My opponent just played six here in the same round. So there, they, they match each other. Just think about it as six. I didn't really lose anything. I didn't lose anything. Interesting choice there. Alright. Speed plays, speed plays. I'm gonna need to play Queen of the Knights next, I think. I'm gonna need to play Oriana shortly after that. And then we play uh Well, Osrel is not great. Osrael is only good because of nothing. There's nothing good. Osrael is going to be playing for six, probably, if I don't kill anything good. Damn the horse, son. Your 
Um, I started my leader ability sequence, but I didn't want to do... I, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just played Queen of the Night, but I had already started up. Because we're playing really fast. This is looking pretty good for me. I mean, I'm not admi I'm admitting that I played Matt incorrectly. I said, oh shit, right after I did it. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not, I'm just, just, I'm just saying that by playing that card and getting six points out of it, it's hardly a brick when my opponent is also playing six point cards in this round. Or even less than six point cards, you could argue. Although I can see how this works. I honestly, we're playing so fast, I just don't know what's a better play than this. I'm sure one of these was. Boom. Speed went. Speed went. <laughs> I made a couple of. I made a couple of. Uh, obviously, the mat to play was an error, but I made a couple of like other sequential errors for sure. Uh, I think. Let's try. The, I'm gonna play the Witcher deck again. Smelly Legend, how you doing? Yeah, we're winding down. I would say. You've no chance. Do you not see that? Do you not see that? Where's Dodrick? Where's Dodrick? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry, my friend. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. Shoop is going down. <laughs> Not being able to play Witcher deck makes me sad. Will iOS be an issue? I don't know. I'm not sure. Time to get our hands dirty. Wait, what? Oh, right. He, he drew it. The big brain play would have been to put it second from the top. That would have been the big brain play. Enough! Enough. Morky Mork. Played from hand. Be just forward. Let the humble begin. begin. Opponent could be Lippy. Yes. Yes, indeed. Could be Lippy. Yeah, Grand Kraken. This is uh, my little pet project. It's Mimi, though, right? Because, like, I can't justify this. I don't know if I can justify Vesemir as a card. I also don't know if I can justify Evo, but Evo works sometimes. A hundred faces. All yours to command. Confounded boots. Another bluster. You gotta really hit that. Oh. Shoop in round one. I should have big brained it. I should have big brained the shoot. I didn't really think about it. Once I saw it discard, I should have. This looks pretty bad. This looks pretty bad.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, with no dodge, we actually need to filter some of these cards out. So this is the worst. Um, without Ox, this is not good. But we do have a leader and we have Roderick to find Ox. Obviously, a lot of other things we'd want to draw here. Not a lot, a lot. Let's see what we can do here. Small Blood Fanatic. Um, so, if we play Dodrick with Roderick, we're not ahead. <laughs> That's the concerning part. We have to play something that will get us ahead here. I think it's Eskel. I think I have to use Eskel. Unfortunately, I mean, we can play Kingslayer on Evo. Not really what I want to do, but I would do it. Or I just play Letho now. I think the outcome from Roderick would be pretty good, though, at this point. Kill the dog diddlers. Oops. To do business with you is ever a pleasure. Okay. This means if you play something really juicy, we can actually just draw it after playing Yennefer's Invocation on it. So that puts us okay. That puts us in a pretty powerful spot here. Um, now we're gonna have to play Evo and Letho and Evo, but we do have Fion now, so that's good. That is good. The dude Rick, the dude Rick, J, J. William James. He's the dude, Rick. He never steers you wrong. He's good, I mean. He's got that... He's got that tight six-point body. The cycling... The cycling ability is just too good. Okay, so... Yeah, this is, like, the first thing I'd want to get rid of in my hand. Oh, that's a hand, my friends. That's a hand! So, Fion, Evo, Letho... Somewhere in there, maybe this Letho to create a lock so I can play Master of Disguise. Gremis could be a thing, but I don't know. I don't think it matters. Let their blood break their bones and spirit. You want to stop? <laughs> we could all stand to go to the gym and get a, and get a tight six point body. Is this deck secretly good, guys? Man is an arrogant creature. Witchers never die in their beds. Okay, and again, I'm looking at like, yeah, Yenvo and Leader is going to be really strong. Actually, good. Crow Mother. Ooh, this is going to be pretty damn good. Six-point body coming this summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the idea is that you do have all your Witchers because you, th you're, you're, you perfectly filter your deck with the Dode. Oh, man, look at this. The Alpha and Onion Soup combo. Does the Crow Mother come right back out again with this play? She totally does, doesn't she? Well, I don't know. The death hasn't resolved yet. Bomb here. Alright, so it doesn't work like that. Uh, oh man, the boom boom. I 
I shall relieve him of all burdens. Of all burdens. Mod? Ah, Crow Brother, Crow Mother's back with that was uh, Gigascorp. Improvise. <laughs> yeah, this is turning out. This is this is ending up okay. <laughs> this is ending up okay. These are evens at five sometimes. Life. Uh, finds a way. So I can get the locks on the board so the slave driver hits hard, like if that matters, I guess. Or I can just kill all the crows right now and the lock doesn't matter so much. I don't think the lock matters so much. I don't think we're doing anything funny with locks. We just play, uh, no, we, hmm. Sometimes I've had about enough. Could have these staggered now, I guess. Invoke Crow Mother? I don't think so. I don't think I'm doing that. Gods protect us. Look at those witchery boys. Look at them go. That last slave driver value? What are you talking about? I need to kill some of these beasts. One for potions, one for soup. One for potions, one for soup. I mean, I guess I'm taking this and playing it. It's not good, though. I don't have any beasts to use. But I mean, it's probably still the best thing I can do. It is what it is. Be better to reset and take his boat. Just gonna be a pass here, unfortunately. So he would have ended up with the with the big purify as well. Yo, this deck is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. 